Professor Lim Sui Hia is known to many as the mother of nursing in Singapore. Born the eldest of six children, she became a pediatric nurse at 17 and has spent over 40 years in the nursing profession. Initially when I applied for a job after my O level, you know, my parents, especially my dad, he was strongly against uh, me taking up nursing because during that period there's not much um, information about nursing. All they know that is very tough life. I recall that day when I went for an interview, you know, we stayed at a three-story HDB flat. My dad ran to the staircase and he shouted down and said, remember, no nursing. So when I went to the clinical area to do my clinical attachment, I was truly very impressed by the nurses. I mean, they're very knowledgeable. They're also very patient. So I tell myself, I think up my mind. Rising through the ranks, Professor Lim became SingHealth's Group Director of Nursing. Last year, she became the Special Director of Projects at SGH and the National Heart Centre, in addition to being the Senior Director at the Alice Lee Institute of Advanced Nursing. Ironically, when Professor Lim began her career, she was afraid of blood. When the surgeon made the first incision, I closed my eyes. <laughs> I did not see because, and I felt the pain for the patient. And now even we there to draw blood, take blood, give blood, you know. Over the years, and, and she told us that she has overcome that. And I guess, and I guess this is where, where I guess the, the passion that she has got the job helps her to overcome the fear. Professor Lim was the first nurse in Singapore to receive an honorary doctorate from Curtin University due to her excellent leadership and contribution to the nursing profession. She is what we would call a trailblazer. She pushes for things to advance the nursing profession. She's not afraid to take on new challenges. She's not afraid to push the limits. She literally uh, listened to what the ground people are talking like for us. Uh, we actually uh, have communication with her, you know, when she comes in as a DN. She actually asks, you know, how we feel all this. Over the years, Professor Lim has introduced scores of measures for the profession, including new career paths, skills upgrading programs, and national level awards to recognize outstanding nurses. I think importantly is we look, have to look into the career of the staff, all right, and the education. Opportunity for them to upgrade you know, themselves, and also to further their studies. For example, like postgraduate training program. She set up this, you know, special program for us. She was the one who encouraged me to pursue a degree in nursing. Away from work, Professor Lim is the glue that holds the family together. Organizing gatherings with her siblings, where she never fails to cook up a storm, She's a proud mother of two children and became a grandmother just last year. On the first day of Chinese New Year, no matter how early we wake up, she'll always be up first. And when you walk down the stairs, you'll always see her cooking in the kitchen and you'll always just smell the vegetarian bihun. I think I practically grew up in a hospital, you know, my mom bringing me to work. Kind of shaped uh, my decision and, and my future, my career choice. I think she's quite bossy. Yes, she is. <laughs> yeah, but she's very caring and loving to, to us. She, she comes home, she's always smiling, no matter how tired she is. Yeah, and, and I think if she's worried or troubled or stressed, you know, she actually rarely tells us, you know, she always just puts the focus back on us. Over her career, she gained accolades such as the President's Award for Nurses and the National Day Administration Silver Award. Even today, Professor Lim continues to be an inspiration to the nursing profession in Singapore. I think I cannot achieve without Prof Lim. Why? Because if she would not have come in as a DN in 2005 and set up this program for us, I don't think so I can reach this level. When you work with uh, Prof Lim, you know, you know that uh, you, you, you will never think of going anywhere. You will say, wow, Singapore is a very good place to go. She had always stressed on servant leadership. And she, I always remember this quote that she gave, um, the higher you go, the lower you bend. And she likened it to the, the, the party rise that as you move up, you actually bend lower. And so that has stuck with us, um, that no matter how high we climb, we always need to be humble and go down to the roots, to the grassroots. I think the nurses are felt, they felt very empowered now. 
yeah so in, in terms of their knowledge their skills you know and they can they, they can perform it's a job satisfaction what as nurses they can do and the nurses you ask them they are proud to say I am a nurse